you can see the starting list on screen. So it's their first big event together. Let's see how they start. They're showing us a back one and a half somersault half twist. Good individual dives. Anna on the right side, you see it here. She's a little bit lower than Valeria and uh, gets in the water um, earlier. But overall, very good individual dives, and that is a booster for the scores. This was nearly perfect. All it was missing was the same strength of the platform in the jump. Eight in synchro, seven, seven and a half individually, and 46, 20 for them. Next up is Team Germany, back dive pike for Elena and Christina Wassen. Very nice, very nice. They do jump exactly at the same height and get in the water pretty much at the same exact second. The arm movement, oh yeah, this was very, very nice. Beautiful dive by the Germans. Both divers get a very clean entry. Nicely done by the sisters. 48 points for, for them. Now, Team Romania. For, uh, excuse me, back dive pike for them as well. I remind you that first two round of dives have a, de de so a degree of difficulty of 2.0. We'll see easier dives. Ooh, easier dives, but in this case, a big mistake for Team Romania on the right side we have Nazanin going way too far over you see it here our legs just keep on falling over also our teammate um, Joanna just lands short so huge mistake for them six and four individually six and a half Sorry, it's the opposite. It was uh, Johanna who went over and Nazianin uh, a little bit short. So a low scoring dive, 33 points for Team Romania. Maya Biginelli and Elettra Neroni now on the platform. Same dive for Team Italy. Well executed, same as uh, the Romanians before them, but not as bad. Also, in this case, one of the two divers, in this case, on the left side of the screen right now, Maya Bicinelli, ends up being quite too far over. We see it here, almost, almost in a pike position. He's slightly piked when got, getting in the water. Not as bad as the Romanian, as you saw video but lower scores from the judges six sevens from the judges 41 40 and they are uh, 6.4 points behind team Germany that is leading Macy Bond and Juliet John same dive for them
very good in uh, timing off the platform and in the air. Uh, Juliet, though, on the right side, now from this view you cannot see it, but from the side view you can see how she never extended her body here. She kept on, she, she kept that pipe position, never got completely straight. Very, very heavy entry in the water. Uh, that's uh, strange. Um, she kept on uh, rolling, but six and sevens, and they get at 40.20 points. Xenia Bailo and Sofia Isman, another back dive pike in this first round. All the teams except for Spain are using the back dive pike in the first two rounds of dives. Spain is the only team that competes the back to half somersault pike. Nicely done. A very good timing in this uh, synchro dive. Strong jump by both divers. They are the same height pretty much. Um, and clean entry for Xenia. Sofia gets a lot of splashes unfortunately for her but overall a good execution again another dive where uh, one of the two divers just doesn't get completely straight uh, in this case was on the right side of the screen right now Sofia Esman a uh, total of 42 points for them on this dive next up Team France Uh, Team France wasn't competing in this event last year where we see them doing a front dive pike uh, with very good entries, just different di different distance from the platform by the two divers. I was saying how it is important for Team France to having a, a team competing, two divers competing in this event because in just a bit more than a year, Team France already has a, a, a spot in the Olympic Games uh, in all four synchro events, the hosting country gets a, a free spot in the synchronized events. So, good job by France uh, building up a team in order to compete at the home Olympic Games next year. It was a good front dive pike for Team France, 45-60, and they're in third place right now. Last dive of uh, first round, uh, reverse dive pike for Team Greece with Stavrula and Joanna. Another very young team, uh, just uh, 16 and 14 years old, these two divers. And mm, it's, it's a good dive individually. They do okay with, uh, with the timing. They jump off the platform together, but it was way too far from the platform. Joanna's uh, dive on the left side. She's not just ahead of time in the water, but also way too far. You see it here, uh, how far further out from the platform she is getting in the water. So that do drops the score. Uh, a couple of points deducted there because of that mistake in synchro. So six and a half and seven individually. Seventh in synchro there, 41, 40. And we have the rankings now on screen. Germany in first, 48 points. Antolino Pacheco and Carvajal from Spain uh, in second at 46, 20. Yeah, and the French team, uh, Gillet Halifax, in third place. And we have team uh, Spain now on the platform, reverse dive pike. Beautiful dive by the Spanish divers. Perfect timing of the platform. The distance from the platform is uh, pretty much the same. And look at that, they hit the water exactly at the same time. A very good job by Team Spain on this dive. 
very good. Probably the line in the entry by Anna should have been a little bit straighter, but overall very well executed individually and in synchro. We saw the teammates and the coaches celebrating celebrating that dive. Eight and eight and a half in synchro, 47, 40. Excellent job, excellent job by Team Spain. Reverse dive pike for the German sisters also. They were leading with 48 points after the first round of dives. See if they can do better than Team Spain. And they do, if not better, it is exactly the same uh, kind of execution. Great jump. Probably they are just, uh, uh, they, they have sharper movements in the air. Um, they, let's say, look better. And also the alignment, the line in the water is better. So definitely better than uh, than Spain, eights and eight and a half, even a nine in synchro that counts. So excellent, excellent execution of the reverse dive pike by Team Germany, 98-40. Team Romania now, same dive for them, reverse dive pike, and uh, and we'll see the first six teams of this final in this round competing this dive, and then just France and uh, Greece at the end will compete the re the back dive pike. Um, not too bad in the timing of the platform. The jump is uh, together. Uh, the both dives are not perfect in the air the, the two ladies move their arms at different time and uh, also on the right side Yona is ahead in the water the entries could have been cleaner but overall not not too bad but definitely could have been uh, much much better as we saw from the Germans right before so a total of 39 points for them and 72 total after two, two dives. Now Team Italy, same dive once again. They were in fifth place after the first dive. And once again, uh, it's Maya Biginelli who over rotates on this dive and uh, she's a tiny bit ahead of time but that doesn't bother the judges as much as the pike position getting in the water she should have uh, kept her hands on her thighs while falling instead of she has her hands above her head way too early and keeps on uh, rotating so 40.20 and they're at 81.60 right now Team Great Britain, uh, Macy Bond and uh, Juliet John. Let's see if in this reverse dive pike, Juliet can get all the weight straight because the previous dive, the back dive pike, was way too piked in the entry. And uh, better, better, but once again, the same tendency in the entry by Juliet. Not completely straight, but a good jump there, perfectly together. On the left side, Macy gets a cleaner entry. Overall, an average dive for them. You see it here again, how on the right side, Juliet doesn't get her hips completely extended. So, lose a couple of points there from the judges. Seven and seven and a half. For them, and they are at 83.40 right now. Team Ukraine, Xenia and Sofia were in fourth place after the first dive, and they do an excellent job here. Uh, very good uh, timing, slightly different distance from the platform for the two divers 
Xenia on the right and uh, Sofia on the left right now. Uh, it seemed to me live that Xenia was not much, but slightly, yeah, further away. Overall, a great dive for them. Seven and a half from the judges. And a total of 44 40 on this dive and 87 total there in third place. Team France now. With a back dive pike. And they end up getting in the water together, uh, but definitely uh, different timing of the platform, starting from the squat when they were uh, pressing down to squat here. They did it at different times, so they took off a different uh, speed. Then here they get back together. They're just that... Um, Emily Halifax is way too far over in a pack position when getting in the water and that's why the scores drop on this dive. They are a total of 84 points after two rounds of dives. Last uh, required dive. So last dive that has a 2.0 degree of difficulty set by rule and team Greece does a, a good job overall with uh, with their dive is not very explosive off the platform and uh, neither one of the two divers uh, at the best jump but they managed to get in the water together uh, individually, they could have done a better job. Both divers end up a little bit too far over to get high scores on their individual dive. So a total of 39 points. They're at 80 points. 80 points for them after two dives. 80.40. And uh, now we have the standings after two rounds of dives. 98 points for Germany, 93 for Spain, and 87 from U for, uh, for Ukraine. But all the other teams are not too far back. And here is the first optional dive. Uh, optional dive means the degree of difficulty is the exact same degree of difficulty that is on the table of the dives. Instead of being set by rule at 2.0, they can... Use whatever dive they want. Forward three and a half somersault pike for Team uh, Spain right now. Nicely done. A good job and we see some excitement by Team uh, Spain. Uh, a little different speed in the somersault, but overall both divers get good entries. Um, different distance from the board. And also the worst part of this dive is that Anna is short and Valeria is over, but they're clean and uh, still get a good uh, average dive. Uh, good dive overall, yeah. And Valeria pointed out to the coaches how she gladly went over. Six and five and a half, seven in synchro. Not too bad. 58 points for, um, for Team Spain on their first optional inward. Inward three and a half somersault tuck for Team Germany. Now they were leading after two rounds of dives, and not the best takeoff ever for uh, Team Germany. I gotta say, we could see both, at least both divers did the same mistake. They went too fast towards their legs to get in the tight in the tuck position. So they were falling very fast. Both individual dives are quite short. Uh, luckily for them, both did the same mistake. So 
that didn't compromise the synchro, but since the individual dives weren't great, also the synchro scores aren't too high. Five and a half and uh, individually and six and a half, seven in synchro. So Team Jeremy could have done a bit better with that, considering they are one of the teams that is not here to play around, but definitely aiming for goal tonight. Inward two and a half, Somerset Pike for Team Romania now. Uh, very good synchro. Uh, in this case, uh, the two divers end up being uh, one slightly short and one slightly over. So probably a couple of points deducted there, there from the judges. You see how the splashes go different ways. Um, if with, with great entries on the, by both divers, this dive could have scored very high. Fortunately, they missed just the last part. See how they got sevens, even if the entries weren't good. Imagine if they would have gotten uh, seven and a half and eight individually with great entries. The, the synchro scores would have boosted way, would have gone way up. 125 points though for them. Now we have Team Italy, a forward three and a half somersault pike for uh, Maya and Elettra. We see Elettra counting. Very good uh, somersaulting. In the air, they are uh, exa exactly in the same position and spinning at the same speed. Unfortunately, it is for both divers not fast enough to get completely vertical. They get in the water very short and still in a pack position. So not too high the scores, both individual and uh, and the synchro scores. Five and a half, no, five and six individually, and six six and a half in synchronization. Uh, One hundred thirty-five sixty for Italy. Now, same dive for Team Great Britain. And kind of the same mistake by the British. Same as the Italians. They also are not as similar in the air while uh, somersaulting. You see it here how, how they're at different timing. They have different timing here in the somersault. And both divers quite too short. And exactly as I said, they do score less than Italy on this dive. 53.10 points, 136.50. They're just uh, one point ahead of Team Italy after this dive. And they're very close together. Let's see now what Team uh, Ukraine does with their inward two and a half somersault pike. So three teams have the same list Germany, Italy and Great Britain the harder list here today oh a nice nice dive by Team Ukraine uh, they're gonna get a very good average from the judges here excellent job uh, somersaulting at pretty much the same speed you see here Xenia comes out of the pike position earlier before Sofia but uh, other than that, it was uh, very well executed individually and in synchro. They're going to get ahead of uh, Great Britain and Italy. Inter plays just uh, three points behind, uh, behind Spain. A very good job by the Ukrainians. Team France now, the same dive. Uh, by Team France. First of all, they took off at different distance from the 
from the platform. They spin at a complete different speed. And uh, you see here, Jade goes way too far over. Way too far over. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me about that. Um, so, yeah, not not a high scoring dive 35 28 for them 119 at the at the moment they are in last place forward two and a half summers of pike for team greece Very easy dive, but just the 2.3 degree of difficulty. You see Petros, the coach of Team Greece. Uh, the dive was, was very easy. The timing in the summer so on the come out is right. Just the uh, problem with this dive is that Joanna just ends up being way too far over, uh, especially on such an easy dive. Uh, very low degree of difficulty, so a total of 40.02 points for them. 120, and they're in seventh place ahead of France right now. And after three rounds of dives, the first round of optionals, we have these standings on screen right in a second, right now. Team Germany 158.88, Team Spain 152.10, and Team Ukraine 149.16. Two more rounds to go. Two more optional dives for each of the teams competing. And uh, we, we have Team Spain right now. Back two and a half somersault pike. And a mistake here by Valeria Antolino. The synchronization was uh, very good. We see the advices from the coach. The top part was very good, very high. Valeria just comes out too loose in her core and her legs drop. You see here how they drop backwards. Very short for Valeria. Anna does a great job. And uh, low scoring dive for the Spanish divers, 46.98 on this dive, 199.08. For Team Spain, 199 points for them after four dives. They had uh, an advantage on the four team that was Team Great Britain. They had, uh, what is it? 14 points, 16 points advantage, but they might lose it here. Forward three and a half summers of Pike for Team Germany that was in the lead. And uh, I don't want to say anything right now. I don't want to jinx it for anyone. I'm not going to tell tell you what I think about this dive. It, it, it is good. I think that is great. I don't want to say where they will land in the rankings before these judges give the scores. don't want to jinx it to anyone. Straight sevens. Uh, for Team Germany, 63 points. I, I wanted to say it was, this was the higher scoring dive so far. And indeed, uh, it was 63 points for Team Germany. So now we have uh, Team uh, Romania. Forward to now Somersault Pike with a full twist and it was very nice in synchro very very good synchronization all the way until the last meter before getting in the water see all the movements were exactly the same but on the further away from the camera Joanna just uh, misses uh, uh, the entry by a lot, way too far over. This dive in isn't sco gonna score many points. 4350 for Team Romania, 169 points for them.
And now we have uh, Team Italy on the platform. Uh, inward three and a half somersault tuck for Maya and uh, Elettra. And uh, another mistake uh, for Italy. Uh, first of all, the well, the timing was good in the somersault, but different uh, distance from the platform, and both divers just go way too far over on the entry. This is also probably not going to score very high for Team Italy. Yes, fours, four and a half, a couple of fives from the judges. Just individually, they did not uh, a great job, and uh, just go. Both of them go way too far over. Just 43 points, 178, 80 for Team Italy. And now we have Team Great Britain. Same dive, inward three and a half somersault tuck. I want to remind you that Juliet John. On the right side of the screen, she's not even 14 yet, already competing at extremely difficult list of OE. A big mistake by uh, Maisie Bond, uh, completely misses the uh, timing of the, of the come out, and she's maxed on her stomach. Luckily, she got out of the water by herself. Um, It seems like she's okay. She's behind the platforms and springboards. You saw how early she came out before the third somersault and gets completely flat on her stomach. She's standing though. We see her on screen right now. She seems fine. Smiling. She's with the doctor. They're smiling. Luckily, these things are... Uh, yeah, and everyone is clapping for her these things are uh, shocking I gotta tell you uh, luckily she got and we see her sitting down and relaxing a little bit and this is this was a failed dive uh, for team Great Britain so they stay at 136.50 and now is uh, well while we watch team Ukraine I was saying how it is time to make a decision for Team Great Britain. Sometimes at this point, after such a big mistake and a shocking dive, uh, they could just decide to not complete the competition. But we'll see. We'll see how Maisie will feel after these, the end of this round. Back two and a half summers of one and a half twist for Team Ukraine. And uh, a good, uh, good synchronization for Team uh, uh, Ukraine just individually. Um, Sofia ends up going too far over. Five and a half are her individual dives. Sevens are the scores from the other judges, both individual for Xenia and for uh, the synchronization. 213 48 for Team Ukraine. And now Team France. Reverse two and a half summers of tuck for Team France. And uh, a great job. And I gotta say, Je uh, Gilet, we have seen her compete this dive three times already. This is the fourth time on the right side. And for three times earlier this week, she landed very, very short. Team event, individual prelims, and final individual. And finally, she gets an incredible entry on her reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Six is individually for both divers, and six and a half in synchro, 171, 36 for them. They're in fifth. Team Greece now. Team Greece inward, two and a half somersault tuck. Another very easy dive for the young team from Greece. 2.5 degree of difficulty.
Nicely done. Uh, once again, just like the forward two and a half somersault before, the entries could have been uh, better, uh, especially um, by Joanna on the left side here. She comes out a bit late and over rotates this inward two and a half somersault tuck. Other than that, good average scores. Uh, a five for her individual, Joanna's individual dive, six and a half for her teammate. Six and a half and sevens in synchro. 47, 21. Uh, excuse me, 47.25 points. And now we have uh, the standings after four rounds of dives. And I can tell you while you see the on screen the standings, I can tell you that Macy Bond is standing and smiling on deck, seems ready to go for her last dive. And I can tell you she's hugging her teammate. You see it below on the screen right now. On the corner of the pool, you can see Team Great Britain. They were, they're ready, getting ready for their last dive. But also Team Spain is ready for uh, their last dive. Inward, three and a half somersault tuck. They were in third place. Let's see the fight for a medal here. There's Team Spain at 199. They have 21 points advantage on Team Italy in fourth. Let's see how they do, though. Last round of dives. And pretty good, pretty good dive. We see Team Spain celebrating. Uh, Domenico Rinaldi and Arturo Miranda cheering for the two Spanish divers from Madrid. Anna is just a little bit ahead of Valeria getting in the tuck, but she waits enough to get vertical. Not great entries, but I think this is good enough to set the bar for what is needed to be on the podium and maybe even more sevens five and a half six and a half in synchro seven and five and a half individually big hug for the two ladies from madrid 62 40 on this dive Two sixty-one forty-eight is where is what Team Germany, who has been leading throughout the whole competition, they're at two twenty-one right now. They need forty points, less than forty points, thirty-nine sixty. And they get, they get much much more than that. We can already tell you that. These are the new European champions, and this time I'm not afraid of saying that excellent execution of the back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist, perfectly th together throughout the whole dive. And this is the best dive of the day so far in this event, 75-84. Two hundred ninety-seven seventy-two. Now on the platform, Team uh, Romania forward two and a half summers of pike. Two point three degree of difficulty. The synchronization is good, and uh, once again, one of the two that we see, their coach just shaking her head, uh, disappointed. It's a very easy dive, and Yana uh, just comes out extremely late and uh, lets the legs go too far over. The entry is not very clean. Six and a half in synchro, and uh, five individuals for you for Yana. They close at 211.35, right now in fourth place. Team Italy now. Team Italy needs nines on their back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist in order to get 
ahead of uh, Team Spain. Eight and a halves and nines. Uh, their best dive uh, by far uh, in this event a little bit off here on the takeoff Maya is ahead of time or, or Electra is a little bit late uh, they do a better job getting in the, in the water but overall yeah, definitely above average they're a just a little bit off in synchro we saw also in the summer so it's not perfectly to get perfectly together Seven and six individual scores, and uh, seven and seven and a half in synchro. It is their best dive, and Italy closes at 245.04. In third place at the moment. Now we have uh, Maisie Bond, you can see her on the left side, smiling here. And. Uh, Juliet, they are doing a back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist. And a great dive by the British divers. It is incredible how strong uh, mentally Maisie has been today. Unbelievable, I gotta say, tip of the hat to her for getting back up on the 10 meter platform and perform such an amazing dive. Excellent individual uh, dive for her. This synchro was, uh, was good. Um, sevens up. I thought the dives were better than uh, that individually, but excellent that she did just recovered right away and got back up there and performed a good dive. Fortunately for Team Great Britain, without the score of the previous dive, uh, they end up at 198. If not, I can tell you they were, they definitely had a chance to get on the podium. They are 63 points behind Spain and they definitely had a chance. Forward three and a half summers of Pike for Team Ukraine, who needed uh, nine and a half for gold but probably not gonna get that and only five and a half for silver medal and they will get that awesome uh, uh, synchronization well not awesome but pretty good um, performance in synchro synchronization was very good uh, individually six and a half from the judges not too bad and they are in second place at 274 68 13 points ahead of Spain and now team France on the platform back to now summer so one and a half twist for team France In France was in uh, fifth place before this dive. And uh, the synchro was good up until the very last part of the dive. Um, Emily on the left side, she never picks up any speed when coming out of the platform here. She's not, you can see how further back in the somersault she is in the bike compared to her teammate and uh, she lands just way way too short three and a half individually for her six and a half for uh, Jade Gillet her teammate and five and a half in synchro team France closes at 221.28 and now the last dive of this final is team Greece back two and a half somersault half twist
Uh, it, it, it was a good synchro, but both divers are way too short on this dive. They both land uh, still uh, a bit in a pike position, do not extend their bodies all the way getting in the water, so probably not a very high scoring dive. And uh, yeah, so we have the score now four and a half and five in the individual execution and six, six and five and a half in synchro. Team Greece closes at 209.79 in seventh place ahead of just Team Britain. Well, this was, um, it was an interesting event. I don't want to call it exciting, but definitely interesting. We've seen a lot of things. And uh, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Team Germany for uh, the gold medal, Ukraine in second, and Spain in third. But most of all, I want to congratulate Maisie Bond for having the courage after failing completely a dive on 10 meter platform, showing us the courage to get back up on the 10 meter and perform her last dive and still finish the competition with a big smile on her face. That is not something common to see and not everyone, not every diver is capable of having such a, such a strong uh, mentality and character to do so. So congratulations Maisie and uh, sure she'll be back up there in the future and we'll see more of that team, young team Great Britain. Once again, these, the final rankings are Team Germany with Christina and Elena Vassen, 297.72 gold for them.